Hello and welcome to my name is Steve and I will be your personal AI assistant for today. Before we begin, an identification scan will be needed to identify the cause of your death. Please stand still. Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome to another Ichio indie horror game called Ignited Entry. And hello everyone, I'm Ethan Alley. I do hope you all enjoy the horror game that I got in store today. This is about a firefighter dealing with his past regrets of not saving a family from a burning building. But without any further ado, let us just hop into it and see what this firefighter is truly tormented with, right? He was a fireman, bold and true. Until one night, the flames withdrew. What a poetic entry. I love it. A mother and son lost to the blaze. Their lives cutting short in a fiery haze. Damn. The father saw the firemen arrive, but ran in first, too fearful of time. Through smoke and flame, he couldn't stay. The firemen pulled him and rushed him away. The father passed, his family gone. Oh, boo hoo, womp womp. And the fireman's guilt would linger on. He left the job tired to stand still, tall. But the silence broken or broke with a sudden phone call. I like these old timey phones. I wish we still have them. Okay. Hello? Hey, who's this? Hey, it's your brother, Jason. Oh, great. I'm the only one that doesn't have audio for me. I, I'm speaking myself. Hey, Jason. Long time no yeah, see. Have you been... I, I... I've okay. been busy. Yeah, I noticed. Haven't heard from you in months. What's going on? Look, I don't really have time for small talk right now. I need a favor. Oh, okay. What's up? I'm moving out and I need some help. Thought maybe my dear brother could spare a few hours. No, no, moving out. You could have given me some heads up while now all of a sudden. Life happens, all right? Look, I don't need to explain myself to you. Can you help or not? Sure, sure. Well, I guess I can help. Great. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. Ah, uh, I'm the passenger princess. So how you been? I've been fine. Nothing special has been going on, really. Just the same old routine, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I understand that. What the hell is that? What was that? You're not looking. Look at it. It's a church bell or something. Nah, that's a ghost train. Anyway. Yeah. I wanted to make a difference to be the one who saved lives. But when you fail to save someone, it breaks you. And no one tells you how to carry that weight. I see. Use it for the next person. You want to save them more and more. Wait, what? That's not a church bell. It's nearby. Pull over where that noise is coming from. Why is it? No, no. <laughs> it's upside down. No. No. Why can't I look at my brother? Oh, I can look at my brother. I was like, wait, what? I'm not able to move. Oh, I've been here before. The house burned down and I was there to save the family that was trapped inside. But I didn't make it in time. The sound is coming from inside the house. We should check it out. Yeah, sure, I guess. Jason, are you real? I don't think you're real, uh, but okay. Exit the car. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't know why that was an option. Uh, at least he's a brother. He, he doesn't mind exploring with me. Can I go inside? I can. This seems deeper than any other house I've been to. Oh my goodness. It doesn't have a second floor either. What's this? Read note. It seems fancy. Got fancy handwriting on it. What's it say? We remember the symbol. The triangle with a freaking one of those um gym, gym wreck things. I don't, I don't know what they are. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, the hells have opened. Uh, they're sucking me in. What the hell is this? This is a trip, bro. 
I don't like this. Oh. This is like Doctor Strange. Like, where the, she takes him out into astral form and pulls him through all these galaxies. That's what's going on right now. Yo, brother. Are you jacking me, bro? Are you robbing me? What are you doing? How you been here with me? How does this make sense? You're running from me? No, that's the father. Wait, what? I don't make sense. I don't understand what's going on. My brother ran away from me. I, I, I think he thought I was dead. I think he robbed me of my money and ran. Oh, he wrote this symbol on my arm? A symbol has been cut onto your flesh. Great. Great. Roses end. Yeah, roses do end. Oh, they have security cameras. How didn't they catch the fire beforehand? Enter the shoes house? I, I I don't think I have a choice in the matter. I'm going to do it. A searing pan, and then I see it carved into my flesh. The symbol of my fate. This mark binds me to destiny I cannot escape. We're in. Objective. Find Jason? Jason Bourne? I'm going to go through this bloody door. It's the only door I... I don't want to see you on fire. Such a classic, but I'm going to get demonetized for sure. Maybe I'm not. It's just on repay. I think I'm good. Oh, reception. What is going on? Jason? Rope needed. I got a rope. Uh, I have a rope. Oh, I have to equip rope. Huh. I'll go down the little rabbit hole. Go to Wonderland. Can't see a damn thing, but... I assume it's alright. Reception. There's another reception? That does not make sense, but okay. Ring the bell? Yeah. Hello? Anyone here? Tentacle monster? Oh, hi. Hello, and welcome to... My name's Steve, and I will be your personal AI assistant for today. Who? Before we begin... An identification scan will be needed to identify the cause of your death. Please stand still. I'm standing still. Oh my goodness. What the hell? How strange. The cause of your death is blank in my database. Which means you are still alive. Yay! What brought you here? A hatch in the ground brought me and my brother into this place. The hatch was in a previous burnt down house where the family inside died in the house fire. There is another fellow who goes by the name Brother Jason. Who checked in a few minutes ago. Who is dead? You two have matching DNA, which means that Brother Jason is your brother. Who is named Jason? The hatch also means that an entity in this room has invited you or your brother here for an unknown reason. The hatch is unable to separate invitations between shared DNA of siblings, which is why the two of you are here. Okay, I understand. What now? Since I can't assign you to an aftergrave without a valid death permit, I will release you to freely roam the until the ones who brought you here decide to send you back. But before you go, I'm required to fly you with the Fast 92. This is used to relive all the memories by pairing it with a memory orb in order to counteract insanity. I would advise you to stick to your own memory orbs unless you like peeking into other people's memories. Okay. Uh, I understand. I'll, I'll take the glasses. Anyways, you will now be transferred to... <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I don't understand what's going on. Where are we? Location. Chase slash enemy. Elem... <laughs> room's okay over here. We got a laundry room over here. Nice. Got planks of wood... Got a bunch of other stuff too. Ooh, memory glass is needed for a big ol' orb. I didn't even see that. Four uses left. Emily's eyes. So are these my memories or someone else's? Laundromat again? Her dryer's too small for this guest room load. 
Who's gone? Is it me? Hey, babe, quick question. Did you happen to change the computer password? Oh, hey. I did, actually. I meant to tell you, but it completely slipped my mind. No worries. It happens to the best of us. Why? Well, our little tech whiz of a son has been spending more time on the computer um. than on his schoolwork lately. So I thought a little password change might redirect his attention. Ah, sneaky move. So where's the new hiding spot for the password this time? Behind the dryer in the utility room. <laughs> Figured it would be a safe bet. Got it. Thanks for keeping things in check, darling. Anything for our little troublemaker, right? Exactly. I'm William in this situation, right? Or is this the family? Death registry? Oh. Yep. Okay. I'm seeing through the family's eyes. Burnt alive. I'm concerned. I'm concerned now because I don't know what the fourth memory would be because I have four charges for these damn glasses. There we go. We're in. Pictures. Come on. I want to see baby pictures. Fine. The folder is locked. To open the folders, few security questions need to be answered. Yes. Does Hannah work as a teacher? Yes. Is Chase allergic to peanuts? Yes. Does William enjoy fishing on the weekends? Yes. Is... Yes. Does Chase have a pet turtle? I... Uh, assume no. But yes. Yes. Do you ever feel like you're being wa- Yes! Why wouldn't I? Do you recognize the person behind me? Yes. Oh, why is he breathing like that? You okay, bro? You, 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 you okay back there? Remember text. Under the bed. Under the bed. Under the bed? What's under the bed, my- Oh, no. Oh, check under the bed. No, no, no. Grab the key. We're going through this door now. We gotta go. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. You don't have to do that. Hide. Okay. I w I, w I was waiting for it, but I guess I'll hide. I think he's here now. Are you sure it's him? Yes. I saw the symbol on his arm. It's him. Do they hate me? Do, are they trying to help me out? I don't understand. I don't know if they hate me for not being able to save them. That's the thing. But who would, like, hate a fireman for trying to save someone? I, I wouldn't know. Maybe they're trying to help me with my tormented past? I'm just gonna hope for the best here. The robot saw Chase's tears and pain and gave him an arcade to ease his strain. Play, little one, it softly said. Let joy and games soothe your dread. Chase's zone. Uh, so I'm in the kids zone right now? I'm in the fun zone? It's not looking fun. It's looking very dead. Oh, okay. What's going on? Why you got this much movements? Hi, how you doing? Jason, what the hell are you doing, Jason? Stop following me. Oh, orb. 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 Memory. Chase's eyes. The little ones, right? Oh, the arcade. Chase Tor Death Registry 2001 to 2013. Burnt alive. You should say crushed. Like, you should do some variety there. Crushed by a beam. But I guess burnt alive is correct. Oh, why is there a security camera watching me play this game? It's just Pong. Come on, Chase is better than that. Chase is better than that. Come on. Oh. Why was he naked? I- I will never know. Was that Chase? Why were you naked, little boy? Why were you naked? That's kinda weird, to be totally honest. Oh, I have fuses. Oh, is the key to the fuse box? Is that what's going on? Ah... Uh, I don't know why you had that then. But it makes sense. Why do you need keys for the fuse box if you needed me to grab a fuse? I don't think I should stay around. I think I'm gonna press the button. I don't like that. Oh no. It- Oh no. 
I feel exposed. If I, I, if I, I swear, if I see glowing eyes like Freddy Fazbear, I'm out. I'm gone. What, what's going on? Do I, do I need to look behind me? Oh, shoot. <gasps> Crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Haunted Mansion. This game, being free, is absolutely insane to me. This is crazy. Oh, we're back at the reception? Hello? Where's my, where's my Steve? Where's my, where's my man at? Where's my receptionist? Oh, hi! You should have seen the look on your face, you absolute pussy! Anyways, I have been sent over to inform you that an individual from another factory has requested a visitor call with your name on it. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? I have sparked a phone for you to use. Rub it far into the rooms. Future oh. policy! We only allow a certain amount of phone time between visitors and the dead. So, make it quick. Ta -ta! Okay. Where do I get the phone call? Is it past this door? Oh, it is. Who's calling? Oh, no. Power's off. You lied to me. Oh. You don't know me that well. But I know you. I'm not allowed to speak to the visitor phone for too long, so listen very closely. You need to keep moving forward. Eventually, you will find the aftergrave exit. Pass through it, and you will be safe from them. From there, I've arranged the visitor's life to come pick you up and take you to my location. We have to talk. Good luck. Why are the spirits angry with me? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I, I, I didn't mean it. What? Gearbox or matchbox. Jason's matchbox. When ignited, these matches have the ability to dissolve anything bearing the symbol. So you're saying I could burn this door open right now? Ignite. Okay. Very nice. Is there anything else? Or do I have to holster? What's this say? Hi, Mom. I hear you singing in your room. I tried to open the door, but I don't know where the key is. When you're done singing, can you come to my room and play Pong with me? Sure. Can I burn some more stuff? No. Um. Exit? Um, I don't think this is the exit. Whatever this means, it has, to, has something to do with this diary. I need to find the key to this. Okay. Reading someone's diary, I, I would never do that, but sure. I guess we would. Uh, why is it up there? I don't think the room's upside down. I just think it's on... <laughs> on the ceiling, but... Oh, inspect well? The crank for the well is missing. Okay. But the key could be down there. Why would you assume that? You know, I would assume that too. If you're in a weird place like this, I would assume. We're gonna enter the hatch. Okay. You're gonna make me climb down with the audio slowly turning down all distorted like and nothing's going to happen more hallways another door uh the door has been locked behind you okay i understand i'm trapped in here with a monster most likely that's wonderful that's fantastic crank handle um should i have done this Maybe- Oh, something's walking. What the- uh, uh, uh. Why am I scared? This shouldn't be possible. You're gonna come out of the painting, aren't you? Oh, hell no. You ain't doing this to me. I should be running. Use matches. 
Uh, in the dark. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Check map. I need to power the generator to get that out of here first. Generator. Activate the generator. Pumps. There's pumps that I have to power? Okay. Understandable. Oh, you're glowing. That's great. Why are you glowing? Keep matches to avoid being... Wait. Keep matches hidden to avoid being seen by her. Um. Where's she at? She's somewhere. She's over there. I need to get over there. She's in front of me right now. Oh no. No. I think she's close. She's to my left. Oh. Oh. Go. Go. Go, go, go. I did it. Go back to the generator. It's time to run. Oh, I have to go to that exit over there. It's so loud. I can't hear a damn thing. I'm taking a risk. I'm going to run for it. I'm going to run for it. No, it was a mistake. It wasn't the exit was only the thing sealing the exit. I almost screwed myself. I almost died because of misreading a poster. Oh, it is the exit. Wait, uh... Oh, uh, I was confused. I, you know, I, I didn't understand it. Okay. That was the exit. I lied to myself. Um, use the crank? Oh, over here? Yeah, I'll use the crank. I'll crank some 90s up in here. 190, 293, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 90s, 10. 90s. Give me that bucket. Little tiny. Oh, it's so cute. Well, I guess it is for a diary. This hidden key belongs to Emily's personal diary. All right. Time to read all the freaking girl's diary. Let's see how bad the marriage was going. Oh. Well. I guess I won't read the diary then. I was gonna... I wanted to hear, like, girl talk, you know, about how she's being abused, you know? I wanted to hear the backstory, you know? Okay. This is gonna be a fun ride? Yeah, I believe so. Looks like there actually is an afterlife. It may be just... Isn't what I expected it to be. Me and Chase have been assigned to this thing called an aftergrain. From what I've understood, it's an extension of the place you were at when you died. We both got killed in our home, so that explains the enormous house at least. I hope William is going to be okay without me and Chase. I miss him so much. That kind of sucks, actually. So, matters where you die. Like, if you don't die together, you'll be separated in death. No. You can stop talking now. I don't. I. Oh, yeah. Please stop talking. Who's in the middle of the road? I just hope he can still look at my face and recognize me as his mother. I sure hope so too. in our aftergrave. 
So wait. Was Jason the one to set the fire then? If you've gotten far enough to find the key to my diary, then you're probably the person I'm writing this to. I don't know your name. I don't know why you did what you did. But I do remember that symbol. It's the only thing that I saw. And it's the only thing I won't forget. So I'm the one here by mistake. I... I'm the one here by mistake. My... Wait, I see... I try to save the house that my brother burns down. And I hear... Thinking it's my mis... That's why I'm here. But no, it's really my bro- that, That's insane. That's a- That's a nice plot twist. I- Jason's eyes. Oh. He's part of the cult. This is why he has to move. It's an honor for us to have prepared this ritual for you. Will you do the honors? He put the symbol on my arm so I would be the one. I'm... What a brother. What a brother. And they can't tell us apart because DNA is the same. Oh. Uh... Shirt. Sure. An item. Okay. That's why he cut the symbol into my arm. He's trying to put the blame on me so that he can get out of here alive. But the truth still should still be itched into his skin. Yeah, should be scarred. Yours is fresh. You can't, you can't lie about that. His is healed, yours is not. With each sacrifice, we gain the fallen life we attain, growing stronger by the hour and hell world wield unmatched power is this like their like mottos like their quotations for their cult is that what that is location chase elements balcony visitor station that's the visitor's blood the guy on the phone sent me i just need to make it to the visitor station i believe you Let's do it. It's gotta be William. It, wait, it's gotta be the father because he's the only one that actually saw my face. Like, who's on the phone? It's gotta be him. He knows it's not me because I tried to save him. Emily and Chase. Exit route 3 290 This should take me to the visitor station. It's kind of weird that Jason already knew that this is what was going on. What's this? The gate will open with a touch. When inviter's handprint meet means so much. Anyone here? Wheelchair? I don't know why I have a wheelchair, but sure, I'll take it. I don't know why I have it. But I'm pretty sure I'll need it. Open incinerator? Oh, why does it have to sound like that? Oh. That's why I need the wheelchair. I understand. Move Emily. Not even gonna lie, this just feels smooth. I like this wheelchair part. I really do. Can I place it over here? In this one? Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna go grab your son's hand. He's walking over here. I got a wheelchair, don't fight me. Coming at you with a wheelchair. That's just round, right? Alright. Let's go, Chase. Are you alive? Are you breathing? Stop breathing. You're supposed to be dead. I don't feel like this is the exit. Whatever this is, it doesn't feel like the exit. Oh, but it is- there is a call. From someone. You probably know the truth by now. 
Mm-hmm. Only one of us is allowed to exit this place. And the family will kill you before you make it to the visitor station. But don't worry, brother. Oh. How does he know about this place? How, how does he know about... He ran. He understood what he was doing. That's why... Wait, he came back to give me the symbol. He figured it out and came back. Oh, okay, whatever. Summoned together by mistake. Only one can escape. One brother seeks the door to keep his dark lore, leaving the other to fate. Visitor station. Will he get away with it, though? That is the question. And will I be judged based on that? Verify your visitor identity. Identified, verified. The thing is, the reception knows. I wonder if the reception dictates who's meant to be here. If they know. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay. They found you. Run. I mean, bet. I'm running. I'm a running, I'm a gunning, I'm a running, I'm a gunning. Let me in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why did I have to scan my hand again? Okay. Okay. I understand. Uh, this is a big run scene. This is big, very climatic. I want to look behind me so damn bad. Oh, okay, you gotta crush me like that? Did all that work just to be crushed? Come on now! What have I told you to about trying to go outside of your after grave body? You don't understand. That guy over there, he's the reason why we're here. And what makes you say that? That symbol on his arm. The man who killed us had the same one. He's the one who killed us. <laughs> well, an individual who goes by the name William Turner. Told me that he was the fireman who was trying to save you two. Wait, what? So that would mean that it was the one who killed you. He's got a real tattoo on his arm, and this little tootsie roll just seems to have gotten a conveniently shaped scratch. <laughs> well, you know, well, you know, what did I say? What did I say? Damn. What's going on? Is William here too? Was this poor guy trying to save us? Is his brother still here? I... Forget I ever said anything. No, you have to tell me more. I mean, stop, stop that. I don't know what you're talking about, but it looks like you two have passed outside of your aftergrave border. And that means I have to send you back to your aftergrave. Ta -ta. Tell him that we're... I'll tell him you say hi, and that you miss him and you love him, okay? I understand. I understand, okay? So he does know, and understands. The reception does know and understand. And William did intervene. Hello. And how did William understand? Wait, how did William know? And why can't they call each other? Wait, why doesn't the reception allow people to call people from the... Cr Wait, what? So now I'm going to William's place, right? That's what's going on? Where is it? Oh, thank you. Glass shard. Why do I have a glass shard? Wait, what? That's the weirdest gift ever. Oh, it has blood on it. William rushed into the flames to save his family. Brave and bold, overcome by smoke, he fell. His story traumatically told. Rescued by the firemen, he fought in the hospital dim light. But lung damage claimed him, turning day into endless night. So he's gonna be in the hospital. That's where he died. I get it. I understand. I've been here before. Yeah. Haven't we all been here before? For better or for worse, we've been here before. Into the elevator we go.
Hello? Oh, just a single door down here. What is everyone's place? Is he trying to kill me? Why is he put on an iron lung? Uh, yeah. Why are you on an iron lung? Why did you want me to come here? And wh who are you? Don't you remember me? I don't think so. Well then, let me refresh your memory. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, William. Let me get my space glasses on. Let me just. Look through in your William's eyes. I'm actually down. Rescue your family. William, you got this. Go. Go. Why is why is he just standing in the middle of so menacingly? Isn't he burning? Isn't he affected? This is positive aura right here, right? Right here? William Thorner, Death Registry. Saved by fireman. Death in hospital from lung damage. Okay, so it's just additive. Okay, I was afraid that I am the reason for his death. I don't know what to say. I wish I could have saved you and rest of your family. You were the only one that I managed to retrieve from the fire. You would be alive if I had stopped you from running inside of that house. I am so sorry, William. Don't say that. You did the best you could. And that's more than enough. At least the, the father knows, you know? Thank you. Tear running down my eye. Huh. Why are you putting an iron lung? That's cruel, bro. In death, you're putting on iron lung? Ask about his family. Why are you with, not with your family in this world? Honestly, I wish I died in the house fire. Because that would mean I would be with them right now. I died in the hospital. And that was enough for them to separate our after graves. So that means you should be with everyone else who died in the hospital. There should be a lot more people here, by the way. If that's the logic they're going with. Why do you have this surveillance system? This world is heavily surveilled so that the dead will try to go outside of their after grave borders. Usually the only oh. ones that have access to the security system Makes sense. are the ones with authority in this world. But there's this guy in this world that you've probably met. The robot. Well... He gave me this system so I could watch over my family. And ever since the day I got this, I've been staring at the screen, waiting for the day my family would find and invite the person that they have been looking for. And then, you two came along. The invitation system only accepts one person at a time. But I guess you two messed up the system by being at the same place at the wrong time. And I instantly knew what was going on when I saw the symbol he cut into your flesh. Oh, the first martyr! I was like, wait, what? How did you see that? I was like, oh, the first martyr. William, why did you want me to come here? Because you're our only hope. Yes, my boy. Redemption time. Before we can cross over into the true afterlife, leaving our limbo state behind. Some do it by just letting time pass by. But in our case, time will never heal our wounds. If you avenge us, we can cross over into the true afterlife. I will be with my family again. Please. 
Help us before it's too late. And help yourself before it's too late. What do you mean before it's too late? Let me just show you. What? What's going on? Oh, that's him? Through, it will close. Your hmm. brother is trying to trap you here for all eternity. He couldn't get my family to kill you, so he's trying to get rid of you by giving you something worse than death. Spending an eternity alive. Don't worry. I know what I need to do. Give him a knuckle sandwich, baby. We're gonna give him a knuckle sandwich. How will I make it to the visitor exit? The robot. Or should I say the human? Have a look at the news article on my desk. That one right there. Breaking news. Receptionist dies in cold ho hotel fire. In a tragic incident, a hotel was set on fire by a cult, leaving him behind a mystery stone on the wall. Thankfully, everyone managed to escape safely except for the receptionist, Steve Elliot. Steve Elliot ensures that all guests were evacuated, but sadly lost his life in the process. You will not only be saving us, but you'll be saving him as well. Tell him everything you know, and he will definitely take you to the visitor exit. You will be free from his aftergrave. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Don't look down on yourself because you couldn't save us back in the fire. Because you're saving all of us. Bet. Let's go. Redemption time, baby. Couldn't save him then, so we could save him now. Man. I need you to do a favor for me, alright? Hello. I can help you, Steve. I know who you are, Steve. Steve Elliot. I know who killed you. Yeah. It was my brother. And he's on his way to the visitor exit. You need to take me there so I can make things right. No, you won't. Because what I'm about to do will free you from your aftergrave. Yes, yeah, Steve! <laughs> well, I haven't done it yet. I don't know why, but his voice, like the way he speaks, is like, just feels so weirdly 
genuine and sweet. I, I don't I don't understand why. He just like anytime he speaks, it just makes me want to smile, bro. It just Oh. What's this say? I miss dad. Dinner doesn't taste the same without him. He always made my favorite stuff, and it felt special. Like it was just for me. The house feels weird and lonely, especially at night. I wish he was here to co cook and play games with me. I miss him so much. Why do I have glass? Oh, I have glass to actually beat him up. I miss him so much. The silence in this house is unbearable, and I ache for his touch. His voice. His presence. Nights are the worst. Laying awake, wishing he was here to hold me. My heart feels so empty without him. Give me this glass. Oh, wait, do I put, like, the glass on here? Okay. What's the glass? Is this, like, a mirror to look at myself? Oh, it's a heart. I brought them together again. Oh, I understand. Why are you all powerful? What the hell is this Doctor Doom stuff, bruh? Entering code 33 three will open the hatch for overclocking mode. You can only overclock one core at a time. If all three cores are overclocked simultaneously, the system will be overstimulated and the temperature system will implode on itself. I need to avenge them. I'm sorry. Kill Jason. With what? With the matches he started to with? Oh, hell yeah, baby. Now you know how it feels. Now you know how it feels. Daniel Anderson. 1987-2015. Lost his life to save them. I always know my life might end protecting those who can't protect themselves. Daniel Anderson. That's an actual person, isn't it? If it means they get to hold their loved ones a little longer, then my sacrifice is a small price to pay. That's the four of them. There should be five. I should be here too. In their peace. I found mine too. Alright everyone, that was a night at entry. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below. It's kindly appreciated from you by me. But without any further ado, be well, farewell, but most importantly, bye. For now though.